Here we have an electric brake uh, that's uh, generally used on most caravans uh, in the marketplace today, if not all of them, and quite often used in uh, off-road or uh, normal camper uh, trailers as well, uh, depending on uh, which uh, model and brand that you uh, might purchase. The electric brake system is uh, possibly the best brake system to use on a uh, towed uh, vehicle. This brake has excellent braking capabilities and is uh, very controllable uh, from a uh, brake controller that's normally fitted to the inside cabin of the, uh, the towing vehicle. Um, in a normal electric brake, uh, your magnet uh, will have a face on it, something similar to this, where it actually has a cross section in the middle here. That section sits on the um, uh, magnet lever. The magnet lever is this item here, and this is, is where the magnet would normally sit. That's where the, uh, the magnet lever goes, and what happens is when the power is uh, put to this uh, magnet face here, it attaches itself to the brake drum. As the brake drum is rotating, it wants to pull the magnet with it, so it does this sort of thing. As this lever moves forward, it spreads the brake shoes and that's what gives you your braking capabilities. With a uh, off-road uh, camper trailer or a uh, caravan, it's a very good idea to be asking for the Alco off-road electric brake. And the difference between this off-road brake and a standard brake is this centre of the magnet here has a plastic bush and the plastic bush uh, gives the magnet a dampening effect when it's riding on the normal magnet lever. I'm going to turn, turn this magnet over now and show you what can happen after a lot of corrugated road use. You end up with this sort of wear in the back of the magnet. If you can imagine that this here originally looked something like this, you can appreciate the amount of wear that's happened. This here is where the magnet would normally sit. Here it's worn like an arrowhead where normally it would be shaped as a rectangle. And what has happened, because of this continuous rattling on corrugated roads, it's like two pieces of metal or hammers working against one another and it just totally flogs out the, uh, the two pieces of material. By having a plastic bush, and this plastic bush is not just any plastic, it is uh, designed to put up with high braking temperatures. It gives this a, uh, an insulating effect between the magnet lever and the, uh, the magnet itself, and you will get thousands of more kilometres wear from your uh, brake magnets using this particular system. So if you're looking at doing corrugated road work or very rough road work in a uh, towed vehicle, um, and you're running electric brakes, this is what you should be asking for.